Good afternoon and welcome to Cleveland, Mississippi, where the Lady Statesmen are looking to rebound after an 0-1 start. They're dropping one on Thursday to the West Georgia Wolves. Now today they'll be taking on a very talented University of West Alabama team and the last stop on Coach Craig Roden's coaching tree. Delta State will look for more out of their senior star, Seneca Walton. She was limited to just four points last time out after being hindered by cramps all night long. It was her lowest output since November 27th, a season ago, where she was limited to just two points against Bellhaven. Let's check out the highlights and see how the Lady Statesmen were able to compete. Rhythm like that, and it happens, it's just great. You got to keep going at it. I thought Chelsea played well. I thought she really competed tonight. Uh, I thought she did a very good job of, of stepping up. It's a big confidence booster because I mean, I got to produce for my team, I know that, so it made me feel good. <laughs> Getting on to me about taking shots, so I just try to take my time. And when my teammates gave it to them, I just try to go up strong and finish. They did a great job of um, staying down, shot fake, pass fake, and getting it to me. So when they delivered, it was great. We've got a lot of people that can score when we move the ball. Like I said, it, it all comes back to that little bitty key, ball movement, player movement for us. Now, our defense is starting to come around. We're starting to guard. We're starting to guard better. We're starting to help out. We're starting to do some things on the defensive end of the court. But offensively, we're still not in sync yet. But I thought late in the game, we did a very good job. Thought we were patient. I, I thought we handled our late clock situations well. Got the ball into people's hands. Uh, isolated them, they made some shots, and, and I felt like that was the difference between tonight and Thursday night. One of the things about those State, we emphasize our defense, so no matter what, we have to lock down on defense because that gets us going. I don't think there's any doubt that if we, uh, if we start guarding on a consistent basis, and I, and I was pleased with our defense this, this weekend. You know, gave up 60, gave up 47. I was pleased with that because the, the West Georgia game could have easily, we could have easily had them in the 40s, you know. And uh, if that keeps getting better and better, I, I feel like that when we really get into a groove offensively, and, and that's my job is to be able to show them and, and get them to understand how to get in that groove offensively. And, and then, you know, it's their job then to take it from there to the floor and put it into work. Probably won't see too many more good defensive teams like this in the league, so it was a good good check. It's big, I mean, because here here's the thing: you can't lose at home and expect to win the league. Now we did lose one at home, so what we have to do now, on most years, on most years, you have to win all of your home games, and you have to win at least half of your road games. Like, you understand what I'm saying? We've got 11 road games. You need to be at least six and five with all of your home wins to have a chance. What this means now is we've got to go get a road win somewhere that we're not supposed to get. And we do that, we're back, we're back on, on track. I'm very excited. I mean, I know he just came from there, so it's great to come to um, execute and get the win tonight. 
Oh, very happy. I know he's happy. <laughs> It was a big defensive effort tonight for the Lady Statesmen as they came out on top 55 to 47. Now the big, big key in tonight's game was the defensive effort down the stretch. Now the same thing happened in the first half and the second half and that propelled the Lady Statesmen to their first conference win of the year to move to one and one. Lady Statesmen return to action next week when they travel to Christian Brothers on Thursday.